back again with another video and here are some realistic casual fall outfits. I guess you can consider this a capsule wardrobe because I'm reusing a lot of the same pieces on this clothing rack. But anyway, let's get started. Alright, so outfit number one is a very easy outfit because it's monochromatic. It is basically all one color. I'm wearing black trousers, a black ribbed turtleneck, and I'm wearing a pair of white sneakers to break it all up a bit, but the accent color is black so it all still works. I love gold jewelry on black outfits, y'all know this, so I'm pulling out my gold pendant necklace to accessorize, and boom, I'm ready to move to Brooklyn and become an art student. You love to see it. These pants are my favorite right now. They're from Michael Kors, they're wool. I love these because they're loose fit and very comfortable, but they're still tight when they need to be. In my opinion, these are the perfect fit for work style pants like these because you can dress them up with more elevated looking shoes for work, but with the length and style of the pant legs, you can also wear them casually with sneakers. Now, this outfit is great for those quintessential fall days, but if it gets a little bit colder, you can throw on an overcoat on top and still be very stylish. The one that I'm wearing is from Zara, but I just went to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and they also have these there. They also have these on Amazon. So as always, I'll leave everything in the description box down below. But with the simple addition of this jacket, I went from a Brooklyn art student to a London commuter real quick. Switch out the black turtleneck for a tan one and you've got an entirely different look. This one is not quite monochromatic, but pairing tan with black creates a dramatic contrast that I love to do. And then throwing on the overcoat on top is another look, and I love the color palette here because of the similar hues. They're not exactly the same color, they're a little off from each other so you can still get that layered look. And then wearing the tote bag with it, ugh, it just looks so chic. Now the next outfit in particular works best for people who live in places where fall isn't quite that cold. Like in LA, it's still 80 degrees and it's the third week of October. But I just wanted to show you guys how versatile work trousers can be. They don't only need to be worn for work, you can wear them casually as well. I am a huge fan of cardigans, but have you ever worn a cardigan as a shirt? Fall is the best season to do this because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. This cardigan in particular is from Hollister and I love this one because it's cropped, so even though it's a loose fit, my body doesn't drown in it. You can also wear a cardigan with jeans to make it super casual. And I'm just switching out the sneakers for my high top chucks because I love wearing high top shoes with cropped jeans. Then you've got your classic t-shirt with jeans. The way to make this combination look more stylish is to wear an oversized fit t-shirt so it has more of a vintage vibe to it, then tucking it in a little at the front just so it looks a little bit more stylized. And if the shirt is really big, I also like cuffing the sleeves twice. I just think it looks more stylish than, you know, throwing on a t-shirt and calling it a day. With these two quick styling techniques, you can be comfortable in a simple t-shirt and jeans, but still be stylish at the same time. A quick tip that I have for buying oversized t-shirts is to go to the men's section. They always have better graphic tees and I actually found this NASA shirt on the clearance rack in the men's section of Marshalls. It was literally $4.50. So don't be afraid of the men's section, folks. This gender binarism is preventing everyone from looking really cool. That's right, I said it. Another simple casual outfit is the oversized or college sweatshirt. Again, this is a really basic outfit, but what's going to make it look more stylish is the style of jeans that you wear. In this case, I'm wearing cropped jeans, so it's already different from your basic skinny jeans, and you can also wear earrings or wear a statement bag to dress it up a bit. The reason why I'm wearing my duffel bag in this example is because I've worn this to the airport many times, and I think this is the perfect travel outfit for shorter flights. Blazers are great to wear casually because they dress up a casual outfit. In this next one, I'm wearing a basic black crew neck from Uniqlo. 
And I talked about this blazer in my fall essentials video. I bought my first power suit and I love that you can wear each piece individually like how I'm doing right now. It looks really simple but still elevated. I would probably wear this to like a casual lunch meeting or something. Never underestimate the white button down. Untucked, they look very casual and perfect for the fall in my opinion. And I actually think this would have looked better with loafers, but if you're running errands and you're walking a lot, sneakers are always the best choice. Now you can tuck in that button down, throw on an overcoat, and it's a different look. You can even switch out the sneakers and get another look. These boots are from Steve Madden, and they give me some height and sophistication. Oversized turtleneck, jeans, and heeled booties. You can never go wrong. It's comfy, it's cute, it's chic. The key to this outfit is the silhouette. If you're gonna wear an oversized sweater, make sure you're wearing jeans that are a bit tighter. Same goes for the other way. If I were to wear one of the tighter fit turtlenecks from those first outfits, then this would be an entirely different look. This look in particular is very comfy chic and I love this for the fall. Y'all knew this was coming. Throw on an overcoat. Can you ever go wrong with an overcoat? I don't think you can. All right, this next outfit is probably the most extra out of all of them. You can consider this a little teaser for an upcoming lookbook, but yeehaw, am I right? This might be a little unrealistic for some people, but it's very realistic for me. This satin top is from the Tommy Zendaya Spring Collection, and I tucked it into these faux leather pants that I got from Zara a while ago. I'm wearing the same booties because it fits both the concept and color palette of this look, and I threw on my cowboy hat that I got when I went to Montana. Montana vlog coming soon. I don't know, I just love how fun this outfit is and it's still chic and wearable and I love the textures. I love the satin with the faux leather. I just love this whole situation. I love these leather pants because they're in the style of joggers, so they have this really casual street vibe to them. So if you wear a knit sweater on top, the joggers give this outfit a more street look. So this sweater is actually from Express, so it's from a professional workwear store, but paired with these leather joggers, this whole look is a little bit more casual and street and edgy. Also throw on an oversized t-shirt. The key to wearing both an oversized top and oversized bottom is to prioritize the silhouette. So to balance this loose fit silhouette, I'm wearing these heeled booties to give me some height and balance out how long the shirt is. This is one of my favorite turtlenecks of all time. It's thrifted and I think it looks great with these pants because of the colors and the length. Now, I switched out the faux leather pants for these jeans from Boyish. These are my new favorite jeans right now. They're sustainably made and they fit really well on the body. They're high-waisted and they kind of cinch at the waist, so it brings out my hips, which I love. And I tucked my turtleneck inside to make it cropped, and I'm wearing my Air Jordan Bugs Bunny 8s because of the color palette. But honestly, my Bread 11s would have looked better. I just have worn this outfit with my Bread 11s before, so I wanted to give y'all another option. <laughs> and those were some realistic casual fall outfits. Which one was your favorite? Leave a comment down below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!